So we just had a little staycation here and checked out our new luggage, the Antler Clifton range. So we're actually about to check out right now and we will run through them with you when we get home about all the things we love and give you a more detailed look inside the bags and all the features that you get. since we've done a luggage review but we got sent this antler clifton set of luggage and we thought what better time than now to do a luggage review and share it all with you guys if you're going on a trip soon looking at getting new luggage and just want to see inside and see the details of this set so we're just going to quickly go through the large medium and cabin bags um, so you guys can get a closer look and see if it's something you might want to get yourself so just a little background before I get into the cabin bag with you guys is our journey with Antler and travel and all the rest. So basically we were traveling full time for about four years up until 2020. And um, for all of that time and many years before that I actually used Antler luggage, different to this one. Chris also used Antler for majority of that time. But at the beginning, I think you used a yeah, different brand. Different brand yeah. yeah, so we have used Antler a lot and we're really, really, really happy with their quality, which is why we were super excited to get this and do this video. So this is the cabin bag. Um, we got these in top, which is a really nice color. I like it. So full disclosure, we have only used the medium bag of this set so far because we only got them a few weeks ago. Um, for a little staycation here. So we haven't actually taken these on flights or anything like that yet, but basically the Clifton bag we got in top. It has a sort of handle here. I don't know if you can see that. A handle on the side, which is really handy. Um, handle on the top as well, like a, one of these. This is, you can kind of press either side and get this one up. It's super easy to just click in. I've had bags before that like you have to really kind of adjust them to make them click in. So I'm really happy with antler bags and their handles, they're really easy to use. This part here swivels with your grip. So if you're walking along like this, the handle actually like will move with your hand. And then when you have it up, so it just makes it a little bit easier to, yeah, a little bit easier to move around. Then you've got on this one, a little expander zip which is great because I think sometimes when you're on planes you can kind of compress everything down a little bit or pack a little bit less but then when you're on the holiday or traveling throughout the holiday you can just expand it chuck a few more bits in there so that's really great to have that flexibility so you've also got the TSA lock here on the side of the bag which is super easy the wheels um, obviously this is a four-wheel bag which I love I think it can make the bag a little bit um, bigger because you've got the four wheels but the whole point I think of having a hard case and a wheel bag is so you can just do this like you can be in an airport or waiting and it's just standing there you don't need to be holding it up you can put things on top of it I often put a bag a handbag here and it's all just sits there so I think four wheels are definitely the way to go love that now that we have a 11 month old we are still hoping to go cabin but we understand that we might need to have a little bit more luggage so we'll see on our next trip what we do with that but for now if you can go cabin luggage i'd highly recommend it and these are great i love the hard case because it protects everything inside and now let's have a look at the inside zips are super easy to use basically they all look pretty much the same inside you've got this here to help hold all your stuff in a little pouch which is great just if you want something separated in there or easy to get to um, this is like a nice size in here but this side is open and then this side you've got the zippy area here which is great just to keep things either more private you also have which i love um two pockets here so it's just more ways to keep things organized in your luggage and you can also sort of still see what you put in here so that's really great this one here down the bottom is a uh, meshy, netty type feel. But basically that is the entire bag. If we want to talk about the medium. So this one, as you saw, is a fair bit bigger than the cabin. Obviously, this is going underneath. 
the plane, um, but in a car or a road trip like that, it's really great size. Yeah. We well, used our it. Our last little, yeah. um, I guess our trial of the sun, just a little short trip close by, I thought it was pretty good because yeah. it fit all three of our stuff inside. I didn't need to worry about having multiple bags. Yeah. So with the pram and everything, it was good just to have one bigger bag than two small bags. Yeah. Mm. And it's a very approachable size because I, would, I wouldn't say it's a huge bag, but no. it's... It's a good size. I think it's yeah. the best of both worlds. If, you, if you're going to check a bag, I'd say this is probably a really perfect size that you don't pack too much, but yeah. you still bring everything that you need. So I think I love yeah. the medium because you could still fit it in taxis. You could still put it up above you on like a train. Yeah. You could still, um, you, know, car you know, get it through the streets with you to your Airbnb or hotel. I think it's just a really nice size if you're wanting a bit more than... You know, not a lot of people like to travel just carry on only. So I think this is a perfect size to still travel light-ish, but not really go without anything. Do we want to open it up? All three of the bags are literally just <laughs> bigger same. versions of themselves. Yeah. So as you can see, it is basically, is it identical? I couldn't see any differences in first yeah. first looking. So this is the three of them, so you can get a bit of a get a bit of a scale. So here we have the biggest of the three. I think it's a really great bag. All three of them are, whichever size you choose, or if you go for the set, um, all th the whole Clifton set is really nice and we're really happy to be traveling with them. But I'll just give you a quick look inside, but it's basically the same as the others, just bigger. Let's have a look. So yeah, so I'll stand it up. But you yeah, know, all the same. It's got the same, same pockets, same straps, and same separations. So that was the three different sizes of the Antler Clifton luggage set in top we're showing you today. Yeah. Um, really happy with them so far. Um, obviously, like we said, you guys will decide what size is right for you, or if the whole set is right for you based on how you travel. Our personal preference is cabin and maybe a little bit more now with Clara. Okay, so just a quick summary of the pros and cons of the Antler Clifton luggage um, to wrap up the video. Yep. So pros, I would say Antler in itself is a really great brand. We've loved the quality. Well, we've had both the Juno and the Juno 2 in the past and we've really enjoyed having them and really excited now for the Clifton. Um, other pros, I think they look really nice. Yeah. Um, They've got things built into them that make them super easy to use, like the TSA lock, like the moving handle. The expander. The, the expander, the wheels. Uh, some bags, I know they all have wheels, but some wheels are not, they're not created equal. These bags are super easy to push through things. We have yeah. dragged our old ones through cobblestones. Cobblestones, and thick carpet. Everywhere. So, and we've never had a problem, always been easy to do it. Um, so that's great. Yeah. I like sorry, the two handles, like so you can kind of yeah. maneuver them around a bit. A lot of larger medium bags have side handles, but not all cabin bags mm. do, and I think it's really useful. The only con for me personally with the large is how big it is, but that's why you get the large. So yeah. Yeah. Um, we just don't usually travel with this much luggage. If you do, then that would be a positive thing for this luggage. So if you guys have any questions about this luggage set, let us know in the comments below. We also have an article on our blog on mercellany.com, link below in the description box. Hope you guys enjoyed this luggage review, which we don't often do, um, but hopefully you found it useful in some way. Yeah, well we enjoyed doing it anyway, and thanks for watching.